Kansas DMV Motorcycle Practice Test. Question 1. Each lane of traffic has, fill in the blank, lane position S in which a motorcycle may travel. A1 B2 C4 D3 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Each lane of traffic has three lane positions in which a motorcycle may travel, one left, two center, and three right. Question 2. The best way to stay alert while riding a motorcycle is to A. Take frequent rest breaks B. Drive only during the day C. Avoid making long trips D. Drink caffeinated beverages 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. The best way to stay alert while riding a motorcycle is to take frequent rest breaks, at least once every two hours. Riding a motorcycle is more tiring than driving a car. Take the time to get off and stretch. Question 3. When should you share a lane with a car? A. Never. B. In a designated area. C. In heavy traffic. D. When you are riding in a group. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Never share a lane with any other vehicle. A motorcycle requires a full lane width to operate safely. Question 4. Most motorcycle crashes happen. A. On short trips. B. In parking lots. C. On gravel roads. D. On long trips. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Most motorcycle crashes happen on short trips. Question 5. To carry cargo and saddle bags, you should. A. Fill the right bag before the left one. B. Distribute the weight evenly between both bags. C. Fill the left bag before the right one. D. Make sure both bags are full. 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. To carry cargo and saddle bags. You should distribute the weight evenly between both bags to help keep your motorcycle balanced. An unbalanced motorcycle may drift or wobble. Question 6. Motorcycle brake lights are not as noticeable as car brake lights. What can you do? A. Use your high beam. B. Avoid driving at night. C. Install extra lights. D. Flash your brake light. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Motorcycle brake lights are not as noticeable as car brake lights. Flash your brake light to alert the driver behind you. Question 7. Increase your visibility at an intersection by a. Choosing the most visible lane position. B. Looking in your mirrors. C. Coming to a complete stop. D. Riding in the staggered formation. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Increase your visibility at an intersection by choosing the most visible lane position so that drivers will be able to see you. Question 8. What is one cause of skidding while turning? A. Braking too hard. B. Using the wrong gear. C. Pulling in the clutch too quickly. D. 
using the wrong break. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. If you brake too hard in a turn, the motorcycle may skid. Question 9. To avoid hazardous situations, you should A. Be able to swerve B. Search the road ahead C. Avoid carrying passengers D. Watch other vehicles 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. To avoid hazardous situations, you should search the road ahead for possible hazards and dangers you might be approaching. Question 10. Cargo on your motorcycle should be secured. A. With elastic cords. B. On the sissy bar. C. Behind the rear axle. D. With rope. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Cargo on your motorcycle should be secured with elastic cords. Cargo should not be secured with rope because it can loosen or knots can come undone. Question 11. Tinted eye protection. A. Is mandatory during the day. B. Is mandatory for drivers only. C. Should not be worn at night. D. Should be worn at all times. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Tinted eye protection should not be worn at night because it will make things more difficult to see. Question 12. You can help stabilize your motorcycle in a turn by A. Increasing the throttle. B. Decreasing the throttle. C. Leaning forward. D. Pulling in the clutch. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. You should increase the throttle in a turn to help stabilize the motorcycle. Question 13. Because a motorcycle's brake light is not as visible as the brake lights on a car, you should. A. Flash your brake light whenever you think it may not be seen. B. Only brake when absolutely necessary. C. Beep your horn whenever you're about to stop. D. Install extra lights on your motorcycle. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Because a motorcycle's brake light is not as visible as the brake lights on a car, you should flash your brake light whenever you think it may not be seen. Question 14. When riding on an uneven surface, you can absorb more shock by A. Swerving from side to side B. Taking your feet off the footrests C. Applying the brake lightly D. Rising slightly off the seat Five. 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When riding on an uneven surface, you can absorb more shock by rising slightly off the seat. Question 15. To carry a load, you should A. Keep it high. B. Secure it as far back as possible. C. Distribute the load evenly. D. Only use approved luggage holders. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. To carry a load, you should distribute the load evenly to keep the motorcycle balanced. Question 16. When you ride alongside parked cars, why should you maintain a left lane position? A. The center lane position is too slippery. B. Motorcyclists should always ride in the left lane position. C. 
you may avoid a door opening into your path. D. You are more likely to hit a car in the right lane position. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. When you ride alongside parked cars, you should maintain a left lane position to keep away from car doors that might be opened into your path. If you see a driver inside a parked car, beep your horn to alert him or her to your presence. Question 17. When you ride a motorcycle on slippery pavement, you should fill in the blank to avoid a skid. A. Accelerate. B. Slow down. C. Shift into a higher gear. D. Lean your motorcycle in any direction. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. When you ride on slippery pavement, you should slow down to avoid a skid. Question 18. The best way to swerve is to A. Avoid braking and press the handle grip on the side opposite to the direction in which you want to turn. B. Avoid braking and press the handle grip on the side of the direction in which you want to turn. C. Brake while you are swerving. D. Pull in the clutch and apply the rear brake. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. The best way to swerve is to press the handle grip on the side of the direction in which you want to turn. Never brake and swerve at the same time. Question 19. While you are riding at night, what is the best way to identify bumps in the road? A. Scan the road often. B. Use the lights of the vehicle ahead of you. C. Use your high beam. D. Only ride where there are street lights. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. To identify bumps in the road at night, Watch the taillights of the vehicle ahead of you. If the vehicle's taillights seem to bounce up and down, it is likely driving over bumps. Question 20. When stopping in a curb, what should you do? A. Try to straighten your motorcycle upright. B. Increase your speed before stopping. C. Lean over as much as possible. D. Grab the rear brake only. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. When stopping in a curb, you should try to straighten your motorcycle upright. Leaning over makes stopping dangerous. Question 21. As you ride through a curb, you should. A. Stay as close to the edge of the road as possible. B. Stay as close to the center line as possible. C. Vary your lane position depending on conditions. D. Ride in the center lane position. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. As you ride through a curb, your lane position should change to increase your line of sight and lower the chances of running wide and possibly veering into another lane. Question 22. Which of the following can affect your ability to ride a motorcycle? A. Illegal drugs. B. Prescription medications. C. Alcohol. D. All of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Prescription medications, over-the-counter medications, illegal drugs, and alcohol can affect your ability to ride a motorcycle. Question 23. You are considered legally intoxicated if 
A your blood alcohol concentration BAC is 0.08% or more. B you had one drink and are over the age of 21. C you have had at least one drink. D your blood alcohol concentration BAC is 0.05% or more. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. You are considered legally intoxicated if your blood alcohol concentration BAC is 0.08% or more. Question 24. If your motorcycle was built before 1978, you must A. Avoid carrying passengers B. Turn on the headlight whenever you ride C. Only ride during the day D. Get a special license 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. If your motorcycle was built before 1978, you must turn on the headlight whenever you ride. Motorcycles built since 1978 automatically turn on the headlight whenever the engine is running. Question 25. You may carry a passenger if a. Your motorcycle is designed to carry another person. B. The passenger has special shoes. C. The passenger is wearing protective clothing. D. All of the above conditions are met. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. You may carry a passenger if your motorcycle is designed to carry another person. This means that it must have a passenger seat and designated footrests. Question 26. When preparing to pass the vehicle ahead of you, you can increase your line of sight by A. Swerving from side to side B. Lifting your face shield C. Riding in the left lane position D. Increasing your speed 5 4 3, 2, 1. Answer C. When preparing to pass the vehicle in front of you, you can increase your line of sight by riding in the left lane position. This will allow you to see beyond the vehicle in front of you and spot oncoming traffic. Question 27. For maximum traction when it is raining, you should ride. A. On the shoulder of the road. B. In the center lane position. C. In the tire tracks left by other vehicles. D. In the left lane position. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. In the rain, the safest place to ride is in the tire tracks of other vehicles. These are less likely to be slippery. Question 28. When is it most important to check your mirrors? A. When you are about to slow down. B. While you are stopped at an intersection. C. When you are about to change lanes. D. In all of the above situations. 5. 4. 3. 2 1 Answer D. It is important to check your mirrors when you are about to change lanes, about to slow down, or stop at an intersection. Question 29. How should you position your body in a slow, tight turn? A. Lean with the motorcycle. B. Keep your body upright. C. Lean in the opposite direction of the motorcycle. D. Lean back as far as possible. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. In a slow, tight turn, your body should remain upright while the motorcycle leans. Question 30. 
Which of the following does NOT increase your safety when you ride at night? A. Changing your lane position. B. Wearing reflective coating. C. Passing slower vehicles. D. Decreasing your speed. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Passing vehicles at night does not increase your safety. It can be dangerous and should be done with caution if at all. Question 31. If your motorcycle is not equipped with a windshield, you should. A. Have your motorcycle fitted with a windshield before you ride it. B. Wear safety goggles or a face shield. C. Avoid carrying passengers. D. Ride only on paved roads. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. Both the rider and passenger if any should wear safety goggles or a face shield, whether or not the motorcycle is equipped with a windshield. A windshield is no substitute for a face shield or goggles. Windshields don't really protect your eyes from the wind. Question 32. If you are about to slow down where others may not expect it, you should. A. Change lanes before slowing down. B. Shoulder check your blind spot. C. Flash your brake light. D. Beep your horn. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. To warn drivers you are slowing down in an unusual place, you should tap the brake pedal to flash your brake light. Question 33. If you have made eye contact with a driver at an intersection. A. You must deal the right of way. B. It does not mean the driver had seen you. C. It means the driver will yield the right of way. D. It suggests that the driver is an aggressive driver. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. If you have made eye contact with a driver at an intersection, it does not mean the driver had seen you. Always use caution at an intersection. Question 34. When you ride in a group, who sets the pace of the group? A. The middle group rider. B. The group leader. C. The tail rider. D. The traffic in front of the leader. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. When you ride in a group, the tail rider sets the pace. If the person behind you slows down, you should also slow down to stay as a group. Question 35. How can you help balance yourself in turns? A. Take your feet off the footrests for balance. B. Turn your torso in the direction of the turn. C. Keep your knees against the gas tank. D. Lean in the opposite direction of the motorcycle. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. To help balance yourself in turns, you should keep your knees against the gas tank. That will help you and the motorcycle move together. Question 36. In normal turns, the rudder and the motorcycle should A. Not lean at all. B. Lean at different angles. C. Lean at different times. D. Lean together at the same angle. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. In normal turns, the rudder and the motorcycle should lean together at the same angle. Question 37. 
because motorcycles are smaller than cars, they a travel much slower than cars. B are much faster than cars. C appear closer than they really are. D appear farther away than they really are. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Because motorcycles are smaller than cars, they appear farther away and seem to be traveling slower than they actually are. At intersections, car drivers making left turns against oncoming motorcycles often overestimate how much time they have to make the turn. Always use caution when approaching an intersection. Question 38. When scanning the road for hazards, how far ahead should you be looking? A. 40 feet. B. 12 seconds. C. 5 seconds. D. 20 feet. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. When scanning the road, look 12 seconds ahead for hazards and potential dangers. 12 seconds may not seem like much. But bear in mind that at 60 mph, your motorcycle will travel 1,056 feet in 12 seconds. Question 39. What can cause the engine to lock? A. Braking with only one brake. B. Being low on oil. C. Skidding the front tire. D. Shifting gears improperly. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. If an engine locks, it is likely low on oil. Always check your oil before beginning a trip. If needed, add oil as soon as possible or else the engine may seize. Question 40. On a paved road, sand and gravel are most likely to collect. A. Near the center of the road. B. Along the sides of the road. C. In the left wheel track. D. In all of the above areas. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. Be cautious at the edge of the road. Dirt and gravel collect along the sides of the road especially on curves and ramps leading to and from highways. Question 41. If a vehicle enters your path, you should A. Tailgate the vehicle B. Flash your brake light C. Beep your horn D. Move away from the vehicle 5 4 3 2 1. Answer D. If a vehicle enters your path, you should move as far away from the vehicle as possible. Question 42. Which of the following is the most likely place for a collision? A. A curve. B. A one-way road. C. A hill. D. An intersection. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. The most likely place for a collision is an intersection. Motorcycles are often not seen by the drivers. Question 43. While passing a line of parked cars, you see a driver inside one of the parked vehicles. What should you do? A. Speed up to pass the vehicle quickly. B. Stop until the driver has exited the vehicle. C. Ride in the right lane position to be close to the vehicle. D. Beep your horn to let the driver know you're there. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. If you see a driver in a parked vehicle you are passing, 
you should beep your horn to let the driver know you're there. That way, he or she will not open the door into your path. Question 44. Most of your motorcycle stopping power is provided by A. The front brake B. The front and rear brakes equally C. The clutch D. The rear brake 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. 75% of your motorcycle stopping power is provided by the front brake. Question 45. To park next to a curb, you should park with, fill in the blank, touching the curb. A. The rear wheel. B. Both wheels. C. The front wheel. D. No wheels. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. To park next to a curb, you should park with the rear wheel touching the curb. This will allow you to exit the parking space with a good view in both directions. Question 46. The rear brake is controlled by A. The left hand lever. B. The right foot pedal. C. The right hand lever. D. The left foot pedal. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. The rear brake is controlled by the right foot pedal. The front brake is controlled by the right hand lever. Question 47. How should you cross railroad tracks that are parallel to your course? A. Cross them at an angle of exactly 90 degrees. B. Cross them at an angle of at least 45 degrees. C. Never cross railroad tracks that are parallel to your course. D. Edge across the tracks. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. When you need to cross railroad tracks that are parallel to your course, you should cross them at an angle of at least 45 degrees to avoid catching your tires on the tracks. However, crossing at a much larger angle approaching 90 degrees might carry you into another lane of traffic, which could be dangerous. Question 48. You are turning right onto a road with one lane of traffic moving in each direction. If you ride through the turn too fast, you might A. Tip over your motorcycle B. Run off the right edge of the road. C. Hit the vehicle in front of you. D. Veer into the opposing lane. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. If you ride through a turn too fast, you might veer into another lane. Slow down before entering the turn. Question 49. How can you prevent fatigue while riding? A. Protect yourself from the elements. B. Limit the length of your trip. C. Take frequent breaks. D. Do all of the above. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Help prevent fatigue while riding by taking frequent breaks, limiting the length of your trip, and protecting yourself from the elements by wearing proper clothing. Question 50. Fill in the blank. Helps make your downshifting smoother. A. Rolling on the throttle. B. Applying the front brake. C. Applying the rear brake. D. Any of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Rolling on the throttle as you ease out the clutch helps make your downshifting smoother. Thanks for watching. 
Please comment, like, and share.